What's going on guys and girls? We are here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get all of the mission tasks for mission 2 which is called Diamond Dogs. So when you first start up with the mission what you can do is you can skip the cutscenes by uh, pressing pause and then skipping the cutscene and here we've got the mission tasks so the first one is complete uh, the Fulton extraction training, second is extract staff raising your R&D level and develop the cardboard box and complete basic training. So those first three are the ones okay. that are compulsory this so when you complete this first mission this mission, uh, you end up getting those three anyway. The last two are optional and if you don't know how to get those last two what you do is at the end of the level what you, you just walk away from Ocelot he will actually just say uh, put, call down a helicopter and instead of hopping in the helicopter just walk towards it turn around and come back to Ocelot and he will actually give you more training so as you can see what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the entire mission and just go through all of the steps uh, to show you if you didn't actually understand exactly what he was asking you to do uh, but if you don't want to watch the entire thing there's going to be a link in the description for all the timestamps for each of the um, training situations um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to continue on with this so the first one we did was the Fulton extraction uh, training which was what we just did there we just uh, tranquilized someone and we extracted them um, you, he actually gets you to extract everyone that you take down during this uh, uh, training mission. So now what we're doing is we are going to the R&D, so we're actually seeing where this guy ended up. So he actually got extracted into the R&D team. And you can actually go into this mission anytime. You can go and replay it by just going into the mission select. Uh, that's how I ended up doing it again because I didn't get the, the last two the first time around either so what he's doing here is he's teaching you how to develop things so you actually can't develop this until you have a higher level uh, R&D team so we actually have to extract some more uh, guys so that's what we're gonna do he's going to let me exit out of this so you, actually, he, you have to listen to a certain amount of his conversation you can't just speed super fast through it so now he's asked us to knock out someone out using CQC. Uh, this is actually the one where you throw him to the ground. So what you want to do is you just press forward on the stick and then use your uh, CQC. That's what I'm trying to say. So now we're just waiting for the guy to be extracted because he doesn't actually continue talking until he's actually in the sky uh, and gets um, placed back in mother base. And so now he is now added to our R&D team and we're going to find some more guys. Uh, now he's talking about whether or not um, you will actually get someone depending on the weather and all that sort of stuff. You can't do uh, extract people from under buildings either. So and then in weather it just means you've got a less likelihood of getting extracting someone. So now this one is the um, CQC uh, multi takedown um, sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy out and then you can actually uh, grab someone that's close to them and take them out as well. Um, so I didn't actually know that when I first did this I was kind of like wait what was what he talking about doing multiple targets at once um, and it actually took me a little while to actually figure out that that's what he actually you could do. So now that we've extracted those two guys we've now got an R&D level high enough to uh, develop the cardboard box so that's what we're going to be doing. So as you can see we're just getting a whole lot of stuff. R&D level up, up, up. So here we go. We're just going to select the cardboard box to uh, create it, and we want to create a supply drop. Supply drop it right where it uh, gives it to you, so that it's uh, as quick as possible. Uh, he will keep talking until the supply drop arrives. Uh, actually, no, he stops right there, and we are just going to be waiting for it right there. There it is, coming in in the parachute. It's kind of funny that we're actually on mother base, and then they're supply dropping it through parachute instead of someone just driving around and be like here boss so there we go we've now got the cardboard box developed and we hop into it to acquire it so that is actually the um, supply box that's not actually the cardboard box and that will actually complete the uh, training the next thing you'll do is actually get you to call down a helicopter um, so we're actually going to call down the helicopter but what you want to do is you don't want to actually hop on the helicopter so here we go, he's actually telling us 
go to your iDroid and select the landing zone. So this is still a tutorial. You can't actually uh, not complete this. You actually have to complete this to finish the level. Uh, so now, there we go. This is when uh, I think most people will probably be like, oh, I'll get on to the helicopter now and not realize that there's two more tasks to do. So what I did is I just walked away from him, got back closer, and the helicopter actually makes it hard to hear him. Uh, exactly what he's asking me to do so I actually didn't actually hear what he was asking me so what you need to do is you need to uh, do a Q, um, CQC restrain so that's just when you go up and choke hold someone and then make them pass out uh, so here we go we're just gonna do that it actually came up with the little uh, information thing saying this is what he wants you to do hello hello um, and that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do and so we're gonna strangle him and that will give us the next um, uh, mission task and then you have to fold them in as well before you can move on to the last and final uh, mission task so we're just gonna wait for him to fly away fly, fly away buddy back to where you just came from and now the last one we have to do is to do a Q, um, CQC I always want to start with Q it's a CQC uh, close quarter combat and you just want to do the repeated punch um, so you just walk up to someone stop pressing forward and then just keep pressing the CQC button and you will end up doing that and then fold them in out and you will complete the final uh, mission task and there we go we've finished all the mission tasks and now what you can do is you can just leave the mission and once you leave the mission you'll actually um, uh, it will award you with all of them so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to walk up here and as I hop on to the helicopter I'm just going to show you all of the missions uh, tasks so if you go over here you can actually see the ones so if it's got a tick that means you've actually done it before if it's uh, highlighted then it means you've done it in this mission so sometimes they can have ticks on them but they'll be dull and that means that you've done it in another mission uh, but you haven't done it in this mission and it doesn't matter if you've done it in another mission you can actually come in and just do one or two of them or just whatever um, but in this one you actually have to do the first three and then the last two in order so you have to do them everything in order uh, and there's no S rank or any rank system for this uh, level so that's all we're going to do for this uh, video so thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it uh, hopefully you guys have been able to get all of these uh, mission tasks and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and hopefully see you in the next video